everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you're having a fantastic day if you are new to my channel stick around please subscribe and I'm gonna get straight into it it is mailbag Monday number 10 I think we're up to now so just a few things I'm still sick and I don't want to harp on about it because I've been sick for like weeks now I'm not putting any makeup on clearly so it's too hot for a start and I just don't feel like it so you're getting me au naturel and that's that more lights yay so that's my potentially my Christmas background so it's kind of spider webby but yeah um anyway that was the first thing and the first thing on the uh, mailbag Monday I stopped in at Taipo to get some more of these so I got the three meter twinkle lights in the warm which is the goldy colored ones so that's what they look like and they also do them in 1.5 meter and I think they had them in five meters as well and I also got some more of the twinkle lights in purple which is obviously the purple ones so both packs were well one was 19.95 and one was 19.99 so that's the first couple of things okay so I can't go into typo and just buy one or two things so I bought some more stuff so <laughs> I got some candles we won't tell my husband I got two I got one that says light my fire and it is a guava and fig scent now realistically I think these are probably paraffin wax so not the best wax but they smell divine it actually doesn't say what sort of wax I have had a look unless I've missed it but they are $20 or it did have to two for 30 so that is stunning and then I got a coconut lime and it says you're weird I like it so I thought that was perfect for me <laughs> really nice fresh scent I, I do expect them to be paraffin wax so it is what it is and I also got these they were on sale down from $14.99 to $7 and I just thought they were really cute if you're doing something like a flat lay for photos or blog posts or that sort of thing so I thought they were really nice so that's what I got from Typo okay so after Typo cotton on is like two doors down so <laughs> I might have stopped in there and got some more candles so I got these Mark Tucky for cotton on now I believe Mark Tucky is a furniture designer something like that don't quote me on that but I think that's what it is so I got these little candles one says it is firewood the other wood says the other wood the other one says a spice wood and vanilla so I'll show you I ended up getting two of the spice wood and vanilla which isn't like me because I usually not a massive vanilla fan but I should I'm super prepared I should go in one of these on before I got on to cat oh they're really cute actually I haven't had a look at the pots okay so that's what they're like they're little white I'm just going to zoom in. I hate doing this. I hate it when someone goes, Ooh, look at this. Ugh. But there you go. <laughs> That's a pet, pet peeve. But doing that, it's really pretty. So it's just a very simple pot with some little tiny little sort of pinholes in them. And it's a wood wick. And it smells beautiful. You can really, really smell the spice. The spice cancels out that sickly sort of overpowering vanilla. So that's gorgeous. And I'll open the other one, which was called Firewood super prepared I am tell you what these boxes are really difficult to get into so the firewood is in a blue pot so exactly the same look but it is in a dark a sort of blue grey so really beautiful again with the wood wick and that's quite a masculine scent it's almost like a um, like a men's aftershave I guess but nice and they say they have got 17 hours burning time. So I'm pretty sure Mark Tucky is a furniture, it's a furniture shop, furniture design, that type of thing. And the last thing that I got from Cotton On are these gorgeous little Christmas decorations. So this again is a Mark Tucky collaboration. And 100% of the proceeds from these go to the Cotton On Foundation. So they help to provide clean drinking water. Um, I'll link the um it's cottononfoundation.org so i'll link that below so you can go and check it out so if you are in cotton on or typo these are super cheap these were five dollars and it all goes towards their foundation so maybe get yourself some and support their charity okay two more bits that i forgot about i have the skindinavia little 20 mil samples now i have not tried this i have got the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which I do believe is made by Scandinavia. So I have here the Makeup Primer Spray. So you pop that on just before you pop on your makeup. So that gives you a nice surface to, like a prepped surface of your skin. And then I have the Makeup Finishing Spray. So you spray that on sort of in an X 
when you have finished your makeup to set it nicely. So I'm really looking forward to trying those. So I will let you know how I go with these. Okay, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen these. These are from Model Rock Lashes, and they are their new liquid lipsticks, which are launching on January the 4th next year. So their exact title is the Liquid Last Matte Lipsticks. That is the box. It's got the cool Model Rock logo on it. So Model Rock Cosmetics. I have four of the seven colours, so I'm going to just do a quick swatch for you. So I've got four beautiful colours here. I'm going to start off with this amazing sort of fuchsia pink. Hopefully that's showing up the right shade. It's a really lovely pink. So I'm just going to do a quick swatch on my hand. Whoops, I made a right mess of that one. Don't mind me. Nice uneven swatch there. We'll just neaten that up. <laughs> so that one is called Planet 22. Then I have You Move Me which is obviously a sort of pinky mauve shade. So I'm going to swatch that one. I'm not doing these in any particular order. So that is that. That is absolutely beautiful. I really like that colour. Then we're followed up by Major Betsy, which is a gorgeous red. And it's a really nice... I want to say blue tone red, but I never get these right. So but it's a really lovely red. And then the last one is called Coco Lava. Now it looks brown, but I think this actually sets down to more of a deep. Hang on before I say that. So it does look brown, but I think it sets. Once it sets down, it's sort of a, a, a more of a sort of uh, russety sort of red color. It's really nice. So that's the four. So they launch on January the 4th from the Model Rocks website. So that is what they look like and they are gorgeous. So let's see what else we've got. Okay, I popped into short stories at the weekend and that is a lovely little gift shop. There is one at High Point, there is one at Chadston that I know of. I'm sure there's others. I have been eyeing these off for several months, every time I go in there. Now, I actually just thought they were a cute little ornament, but there's a gorgeous story behind this. So this is an origami crane, and it says at the bottom, hope in a box. Now, I'm not going to read it all out because I'm sure I'll get all sappy and cry, but basically it is about a story of a girl called Sadako, who is obviously Japanese, and she got, so she was Japanese, she got very sick in World War II from the, the effects of the atomic bombs, and when she was bedridden ridden in hospital, she knew about a legend that said if you fill, fold a thousand origami cranes, you're granted a wish. So she folded them, and unfortunately she died, but now every year... People from all over, the, all over the world flock to a monument in Japan and they pop their own cranes down. So this is sort of in remembrance of her and the legend. And I thought it was just gorgeous. So it's beautiful just on its own without any story behind it. But then when you actually read the story on the back of the box, it's just absolutely lovely. So sad, but really moving. So I am happy I got that. I should have actually read more about that in the shop. But... I'll link the website below. I also got some earrings. So they come in these cute little pots with short stories written on them. They are navy blue balls. And that is what they look like. So they're blue underneath and they've got little gold dots. So just very, very simple, cute little studs, which I really like. Uh, on the subject of earrings, I popped into Tilka at the weekend. There has been a pair of earrings that they showed on their Instagram page about three months ago and I've been ringing and ringing and nagging and asking when they're going to come in and finally I saw them and they are the Wonderlust earrings so I got two pairs now they're an uncut I am going to zoom in as much as I hate doing that they're like an uncut stone and I think they're gorgeous now this one is obviously like a sort of silvery sort of grey they had black they had blue and they had white other than these two colours so obviously I got the pink and the grey they're $50 a pair or $49 a pair, so they're not cheap, cheap, but they're also not expensive. I absolutely love these, so I'm super happy to have these in. And yeah, Tilka is a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, shop. They've got some beautiful handmade bags. I have quite a few of their bags. Lovely jewellery. Highly recommend them. Would make a gorgeous Christmas present. Okay, I had some hair products sent to me, and I'm going to show you. I've got six hair products, three from one brand, three from another. So I have Reference of Sweden, which I haven't heard of before, but I'm really, really excited to use. And I have their colour shampoo, and it is sulfate free. So that's what the bottle looks like. And it says here Ref 
544. Down here there's a scale and it says care, shine and volume. So on the care scale it's a 5, on the shine and the volume it's a 4. So from 1 to 5 obviously and it smells divine, it really does, it smells absolutely gorgeous. Just a fresh sort of berry, sort of subtle, really uplifting smell it's really lovely I also have the conditioner to match the color conditioner which is also sulfate free and on the scale it's the same and then I have a hair mask a reference of Sweden Sweden sorry guys color treatment mask so it's a 542 so on the scale so five for care four for shine and two for volume obviously you don't want to put a mask on and then have it so super excited to try these and I'll just grab the other ones. So I have another brand called Pure Elements. I have three products from them. I have the Sandalwood Moisturizing Shampoo. I also have the Jojoba Conditioning Cream. Jojoba. Everybody says that different. I say that's how I say it. And I also have a mask, a lavender softening mask. So three beautiful products. They all have different scents and they're really nice. I'm not going to open them all, but I have smelt them already. I will put much more in-depth reviews of these on my blog. I'm going to be trying these out over Christmas and I'm going to probably start off with the reference of Sweden. And I will let you know there'll be photos. As I've said before, I am relaunching my blog. That It's still in existence. I'm just giving it a complete makeover. So stay tuned for that. Now the last item is a Christmas present for me. Um, <laughs> I really, really, really love the Givenchy Antigona bag, but because it's around, I think, 2700 and I think that is US dollars. It could be Aussie, but it's way out of my price range. So I went into a shop called Mocha or Mocha, and I found this. Now, this is the Wendy bag. That's what it looks like. So it's a very similar structured style, very similar to the Antigona. It has gunmetal hardware. I haven't taken off the tissue paper or obviously the plastic. Now on the tag, it says Wendy leather bag, black. Not so much. So it's obviously not black. It's like a sort of gray and it does sort of tinge to a bit of a khaki. Very subtle, but yeah, definitely not black. So that's what it looks like. It has one whopping great big compartment and it has two little sort of uh, just pot side pockets and then it has your zipped pocket on that side with blue, what colour is it? Maybe blue interior with sort of um, creamy coloured dots. So really gorgeous for a fraction of the price. Obviously not a Givenchy bag, but if you like that sort of style, this is a much, much cheaper option and it would make a really lovely gift so you can buy these online. Oh, and I should actually see as well on the bottom, it's got studs. So really, really gorgeous. I really, really like that. I would really, really like the Antigona too, but that's never going to okay, so that was everything, which I will link in the description box below. Apologies again for looking um, sans makeup, but it's just, I would rather record a video and get one up than not. So I just couldn't be bothered with the makeup. It's hot. I don't feel particularly well. So it is what it is, basically. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or questions for me, pop them in the description bar. Note the comments bar below and I'll get back to you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, guys. I really appreciate your support. And as I said, again, stay tuned. I do have the Christmas gift card hopefully coming up very, very soon. And I have a big giveaway with that. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Thank you.